Hello everyone, today we are having new live video stream, as you can see we are going to review fresh release from Miniart. This kit just few hours ago came to me, so we are going to open it ASAP, check what is hidden inside and of course uh, see if the marking options are interesting because this kit was announced several weeks ago and as you can see now it is available for purchase in any good model shop i think model mx should have them for sure so you can buy it straight away but here we have a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see here so first of all on the box art we have quite nice picture uh, it's an aircraft which was purchased by Tomasz Bata in order to advertise um, his trademark over the Prague. Well, you can see Prague here. Also, you can see here a comparison with my hand. It's not such a huge box. It's a typical size for uh, mini art kits. And then on this side, we have some safety information. There is nothing surprising as well. There is no parts count anymore. So if you would like to know how many parts inside, you have to... Um, count it manually let's say. Then here we have four marking options which are included into this kit. As you can see these are mainly civilian services um, markings but they should be interesting to copy in 135 scale. So box structure is typical for mini art. It's a box with top loading. Here is what we have inside. So as you can see all frames are packed into the same plastic bag and then we have assembly menu on the bottom. We'll check it a bit later. I would like to start with this plastic bag, but as usual it comes sealed, so I'm going to use scissors in order to open it, so just give me a second. In the meantime, let me remind you that you can support us financially um, by pressing the donate button on our website. And believe me, all this money will be used in order to improve the photo and video quality or maybe to review some new kits which we can't get without your help. For example, I'm thinking about doing a review of the Tamiya Lighting P38. I know that many people checked it, but I think it will be interesting to check it together. But price is quite high, so I will be happy if you will help me to get it. So, here we have several plastic frames, also sealed plastic bag with various bonuses. We will check it a bit later. I would like to start with these three frames. So, we have here blades. As you remember, um, propeller on this aircraft, it features three blades, so here you can see them, these are large parts, once again I will remind that they feature this quite uh, nice sagging, which should look uh, nice on the finished model as well, so the only thing required from you is carefully separating these parts, and of course installing them on your model. Next we have um, plastic sprue with various internal components. So here, for example, you can see these um, special frames which will be used in the cockpit. Also, we have one piece pilot seats. Also, here is the floor. And molding quality again looks quite fine. I mean, look at these thin parts. Sony, sorry for shaking camera, but here you can see these tiny parts which look really good. Here you can see comparison with my fingertip. They are quite small. And of course, they will require application with help of uh, tweezers because otherwise it will be a really tricky procedure. Then next we have the landing gear wheels. These are molded just like this on the separate frame. Of course, if you have a chance to replace these parts with resin, do it because in 135 scale such change will be noticeable and of course it will benefit from this. But even the standard wheels, they should be fine for out of the box build. Thank you for the first like, by the way. And as I said, they should be fine for out of the box build. And if you are okay with such detailing, you can use them straight away. Next, we have our first plastic frame with Fuzovich half. So let's zoom out a bit. Now you should be able to see it. So here we have the left Fuzovich half, which is molded together with tail segment. Right Fuzovich half is molded without any um, tail parts because this will serve as a guiding element. Also here we have various struts, that's the cockpit uh, cage parts and again here we have separate cooling panels. External detailing is quite typical I would say, so we have the recessed panel lights and quite nice imitation of the fabric surface, high matway. And also here if you flip it over you can see that we have guiding pins here and also as I said before this tail section it works as a guiding element which should help you align two halves together. But as you can see model, the finished model won't be huge, here you can see comp comparison with my hand. It's a 135 scale aircraft 
So that's why it is like this. So what do you think of mini art kits? Never built there. I uh, do got one. Um, well, I would I would recommend to try those kits, mini art kits, because recently they uh, became even better. They decided to use um, more detailed, let's say, design, and now their kits uh, feature really detailed structure. But I think you should be ready for a huge amount of parts. For example, with tanks, there are always versions with interior or without interior. So be careful what you choose because with interior, it will be crazy amount of parts and you have to work with this. And I mean, some people like it, for example, I do, but some people are really furious because the parts count is more than 2000 pieces. So you should be ready for this for sure. You can check the video reviews on our YouTube channel, you will see uh, some of those kits, for example, the recent Lee M3D in 135 scale. Uh, thank you for the second like, by the way. So here we have another plastic sprue. This one is uh, dedicated to tail surfaces and also another cockpit section here and various struts which will be placed on the aircraft. Um, Matvi, it's, um, it's the Focke Wolf C30A. It's auto gyro and it was used during World War II. It was produced in quite small count, but still it is interesting aircraft which wasn't copied surprisingly in any scale by any big manufacturers. Thank you for the third like, by the way. So here we have last gray plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to the right fuselage half, as you remember. Again, I will remind that we do not have the tail section here. And also uh, here we have the engine parts. An engine on this model should be quite detailed. So I recommend to spend some time on the painting and weathering because it will be a really cool feature of your model, which is visible on the finished kit as well. Here we have cooling parts. Note that propeller features attachment points right on the blades. Here is the instrument panels. And if you flip it over again, we have here the guiding elements and note also the minor cockpit detailing, which is quite nice. I mean, we get it out of the box, so there is nothing to complain about. Some kits, they do the plain panels in 135 scale, second scale, and here we have at least some detailing out of the box. Next, we have this nice envelope. This one is usually used for the P port, so just give me a second. Here it is. So just like in the previous C30 kits, from the same brand. Here we have a lot of minor parts which are um, designed as a P part. So you have to use tweezers. As you can see, they're really tiny. So make sure that you will be using, using the right tools because otherwise it will be really a terrifying experience. Next, we have this uh, plastic bag with decals and clear plastic sprue. Again, it is sealed, so I need to use the scissors. So just give me a second to open it. And we will check closer what is actually packed here. So first of all, we have clear plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to windshields. Um, of course, uh, we do not um, get any masks for the clear parts. So you have to use uh, your own masks cut out of the masking uh, sheet or maybe to get some aftermarket. Uh, yeah, it's mini art. It's mini art. It's just, a, I would say, it's just a rebox with uh, new marking options. And here you can see these decals, which will be used for the new marking options. Again, printing quality is really nice. It comes from Decograph. We have decals for the instrument panel. And I think maybe we will see aftermarket P. Let's see what Edward will decide on this, because I think the Edward will be the one who will release such a don set for this plastic. And next we have the assembly manual. This one comes in form of this large brochure. It is color printed brochure, so there is no problem with um, understanding what you get here. We have short list of the features. And then we have first marking option. This one comes from the Norwegian tobacco manufacturer 1934 blue aircraft, which is quite interesting, I would say, color shade at least. Uh, then we have parts map and also paints chart here or colors chart, or whichever you prefer more. Um, then assembly process starts with engine. We continue with uh, pilot seat. As you can see, P parts for the cockpit are supplied, for example, seat belts. So basically out of the box, you should get really attractive model 
and the only thing you should think about is maybe the instrument panel here yeah of course revel is another story and depends which revel kit i mean they do the reboxings as well so you should be careful with revel um, here we continue with cockpit as you can see we assemble all the elements on the cockpit floor then we join fuselage halves together we installed all the necessary struts for the propeller and here you'll have to be careful in order to get the right alignment because otherwise you might end up with weird looking model next we continue with tail surfaces here we install this special superstructure for the propeller and the same goes for the struts for the road wheels or landing gear wheels here we install the engine and propeller as you remember propeller had the attachment points on the blades so be careful while separating it and next final steps are in installation of the um, blades propeller blades you can assemble them in the flying position or transport position which is really cool in my opinion and then on the last page we have two more marking options this one comes from australia 1935 this one comes from um, metropolitan police mail service 1930 of course it's great britain and then here on the last page we have the check mark and it's advertising um, auto gyro of Batya's Zlin company Czechoslovakia 1930s as you can see that's the same green aircraft which we have on the box art so that's all for this video review and yes this guy is quite cool we will check the new T50 quite soon and I think this kit is another nice boxing of the C30 of course if you prefer the civilian markings that will be your main choice and I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below thank you for watching thank you for joining me today if you like this video don't forget to press the like button because it will help me greatly and I will see you in the next video review as usual bye